Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to operation number three. Well, actually 1-3. I was gonna say 3-1 for whatever reason. And this is a farewell and it's going to be of her farewell. I told you not to get used to her because yeah, she's leaving immediately. It's kind of sad though. Actually it's not because I didn't get even close to getting knowing, you know, getting to know her <laughs> in this game. So, yeah. Uh, for some reason, she was thinking that she didn't want to leave because of me. I told you she was into me. I told you. <laughs> I, I call it as I see it, and I called it accurately. <sighs> Actually, it's probably more of a friendship thing, more of a boom-boom thing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's just uh, give his introduction here as shown. And he's saying goodbye as well. It's quite sad all around. Actually, again, it's not, but it's sad for them. <laughs> Evidently, she's been around for a couple years, but in the case of this game, it's nothing more than a couple of minutes, actually. <sighs> I don't know why they have characters like that in games. Like, they introduce a character and then it's gone within a very short amount of time. Have you ever understood that? I mean, usually a character in a game, any character, has a more vital role in the game, like there's more to the character, but nope, not Mary. <laughs> anyway, this time I gotta get rid of a bunch of tumors, there's gonna be three of them, but it's gonna go just as easily as it went when I removed one tumor in the last operation, so here we go, I guess. It, uh, evidently Derek is pretty sad about her leaving, but I don't know why, it's only been 15 minutes or so. <laughs> So here we go, well, whenever she explains it. I've said here we go like 86 times by now because I'm expecting the operation to start, but it hasn't already. By the way, I adjusted the Wii Remote sensitivity in the uh, Wii, Wii options between Let's parts begin. here. So hopefully things will go a little bit smoother here in terms of accuracy. Ah, that's a lot better. <laughs> And now we've got some inflammation here, so we gotta inject anti-inflammatory. It's just like this vial here, but it's the blue one. Just tap it right into the dots like so. And now we gotta do the whole ultrasound to find the tumors. I think there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. Oh, would you look at that! It's almost as if I've played this game 160 times before, and you know how to get rid of the tumors if you've seen the last operation. So I shouldn't have to explain that. The really only thing I had to explain was the inflammation, or anti-inflammation thing, excuse me. And, uh, there we go, and that was quick, wasn't it? Raise the vitals. Um, if you want a high score, I forgot to mention this in the last part, make sure that you raise the vitals to, like, I think it's past 75 in most hard level mission things. So do that as you're suturing up the patient, you know, closing them up. And you should get a pretty high rank, or at least hopefully you will. Oh, there we go! Well, that was a pretty good round, I have to say. Or I should say operation. Success! One of my bonuses! Yeah! Okay, that was a little bit too much of a reaction for such an easy operation. <laughs> but I am nothing if I'm not an overreactor. That is kind of my thing around here. Yeah, baby, I'm so, so beautiful and shiny and it's awesome and I like that. And this is Nurse Angie. We are going to be meeting her. She is Mary's replacement for the entire game. <laughs> M mini spoilers there. So, yeah. And a round of applause. This is her goodbye here. So, what? She was there for 18 years, did that say? Man, that 18 years show sure ran fast. Now we got into the game in the middle of this whole saga here. That's just kind of like a, a bad little more backstory of Mary, even though we won't really see her anymore. <laughs> But I've picked fun at that enough, I think, so... 
I'm just gonna move on from that then. Oh, I was crying evidently. Okay, maybe I was crying a little bit there. I'm a sensitive guy, what can I say? But I'll get over it once I see my uh, new nurse here. Or at least I think I will. And there's some walking away going on there. Sorry, I'm late! And, uh, hey, Angie? How's it going? Uh, <laughs> what? What? What's going? What? Huh? Oh, not what? Oh no! A man got hit by a car as he was crossing through the street. We should talk about that now, and not how hot our new nurse is. I mean the guy. I mean the paperwork and stuff, and yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm overacting here once again. But, as I said, I do that just for the fun of it. So, looks like she's gonna go check on that patient that got hit by a car, maybe, and she does have quite the personality to her. You will see as we go along to the next operation. Yeah, that, that little 1-4 there was nothing but dialogue, basically. Whenever you see one that doesn't have a little banner here, that means it's going to be dialogue and is part of the story. And, of course, I'm going to be twisting it to a more comedic side as I go, but still, you know, trying to keep to the point. <laughs> I always say when I make a walkthrough is that if people are going to play the game themselves, and I always recommend that you play the games that I play, you're going to listen to the story yourself, so it's kind of pointless for me to go through certain parts of the story unless it like needs explaining <laughs> like a lot of the stuff in cave story man i love doing that walkthrough by the way uh it was a lot of subtle stuff that i had to explain along the way that a lot of people didn't quite get and we are going to be removing a polyp from his throat so basically he i think he's a singer actually and he stressed his throat if i'm not mistaken yeah he's with the record producer guy yep ha -ha. but don't worry we will get his beautiful voice back hopefully his voice will be as beautiful as mine after we remove this polyp or I should say polyps, minor spoiler there, because there's actually more to this operation than it initially meets the eye. That, that, I think that the, a lot of operations do that in this game because it kind of gives you the idea of the fact that it's, it's like working in a real hospital. Like if you were actually doing surgery, you don't know what truly awaits you until you open up the patient, basically. This is kind of like a surgery, medical, drama, simulation sort of game dealio thingy, and uh, needless to say, I wasn't very good about, uh, you know, reassuring him that things would be going well, and that was kind of a my bad on my part, even though it was kind of out of my power here because it's in the game story. <sighs> But, as I said in the last part, I'm evidently a beginner doctor. Oh, even though, I, for some reason, I've been working for like four years at this place, you would think I would have gotten the hang of it by now, but that is not the case, I guess. So, we are going to have to take care of this polyp now. Well, polyps, whatever you want to call it, you'll see as we go. And, yes, I am ready to go, Angie. My new hot, I mean, uh, my new nurse assistant. Here we go! And it's right in his throat. Needle, as the nurse said there, it's not really life threatening or anything like that. It's just that we wanted to get his career back on track because of the fact that this would affect his singing career and that would kind of suck. And when there's hemorrhaging blood like that, you have to drain it out. But first, you have to magnify the area in this case for this particular operation. But now you just have to drain the blood and then laser off the polyps. No problem, and then what you gotta do is simply, um, cover up the holes with, uh, the gel, or I should say heal up the holes with the gel, and that'll pretty much be it. Sometimes they will hemorrhage, and you won't be able to laser more, but that's okay, you just have to suck it out, and continue on lasering, and there we go. Like magic, it is once again 
Uh, what? Oh yeah, that's right, there's more areas. I forgot this isn't like the original trauma center for whatever reason. So yeah, you gotta move to a different area using your magnification tool. And let's just go through these really quick. Don't overburn the area, and there we go. Let's raise some violence for the heck of it. Zoom out, zoom in. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot, must drain blood. Whoops. <laughs> I am evidently not a good doctor, and I am clearly out of practice. Uh, that should be okay. And let's just keep removing them. They magically just keep appearing as I keep destroying them for whatever reason. Ah, wrong tool again. <laughs> that is my bad once again. And did I miss anything? I didn't... Oh, okay, there we go. So let's suck out some more, and it, it, I mean, these, these things really appear quickly, seriously, wow. And that was the, a very quick operation, no problem whatsoever, very easy, even on hard mode, unless you're not really used to how the game controls just yet. And raise vitals, stop the bleeding, cover up, and there we go. Woohoo! Maybe I'll get another excess rank. Even though I was kind of lollygagging around there. And... No! Well, that's still pretty decent, but still. <laughs> that was a complete success, definitely. I mean, it looked like he healed up, like, immediately, except for that initial cut that I put the bandage over. I mean, did you see how quickly he healed? It was magical. I guess that's how uh, medical procedures will be in the coming years. Well, I would definitely hope so, but I would hi actually highly doubt it. <laughs> I, I could never see a person healing that quickly. Though it would be amazing if that could happen. And, but I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. I said part like three times there, but whatever! Ta-da!